Today I'm going to start a batch of rabbit manure tea. I don't like using chemical fertilizer and the rabbit manure tea worked really good last year. These are produce bags that I bought at Walmart. You need mesh bags with drawstrings. I put a big shovel full in each bag. You only want to fill the bag halfway or later when it gets wet, it will be too heavy and rip. This next step is very important. You need two sticks to run the drawstring through and lay across the bucket. This will keep the strings from getting gross and you'll also be able to lift out the bags without touching them. I've only ever used rainwater to fill the buckets. I wouldn't recommend chlorinated water. The tea needs to sit for at least a week the first time you make it. You can reuse the same manure one more time to make another batch. Leave at least two inches of the original tea in the bucket and then this next time it only has to sit for three or four days before it's ready. Give it a stir by lifting the bag several times. You'll know when it's ready by the smell. It seems like the smellier it is, the better it works. This is a half a gallon. Each of those hold two gallons. I put a half a gallon in each two gallon watering can and fill the rest of the way with water. This might seem like a strong tea, but it works well for me. For seedlings, I dilute this to half strength. I'm going to plant a few potatoes in this raised bed. I'll be planting Red Norland and Yukon Gold that I saved for seed last year. That isn't grass, it's oats that I bought for the chickens that I sowed as a cover crop. I'm digging this approximately six inches deep. I'll put the oats back into the furrow and use them as green manure. These are some of the potatoes that I saved from seed last year. These are red Norland. They make really good potato salad. These are Yukon Gold. They make really good mashed potatoes. I'm going to plant these closer together than I usually do because I'm worried about some of these sprouts being so long that they might break off and I want to get a good harvest. I've healed them slightly, but as soon as they come to the surface, 
I'm going to cover them with a good layer of compost and then I'm either going to use some of the goat spent hay or I'll start using uh, grass clippings to cover them.